Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So yeah, thank you for joining us today. Today it is the episode number 7. Thank you so much for all the comments and thank you so much for all the feedback. So yeah, thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing, sharing our videos and all the comments, all the comments under the videos, so thank you. If you haven't subscribed to our uh, YouTube channel, so please do, like the videos and always leave the comments below. So today on episode 7 we are going to, mainly at the very end, we are going to talk about the 9th of July that it is important for us. It is 9 years that we have been together. But first we would like to do... Um, Intro not introduction, is an update, an update regarding uh, a, a subject matter that we have spoken on uh, episodes before. Would you like so, to yeah, read? We, we want to talk about the, the French couple. Uh, they got their children, they got their children back, the two kids. But what's, what's, what's... Uh... So they got the kids back, it was the French family that they have been apart for two weeks. Two but they gave, an, they gave to the public audience a message, which one we want to share with you, because I think it is very important, and that's why we bring this uh, to you. So, yeah, the, the, child, the, two, the two children were away from their parents for two weeks. Now, this uh, comment, this post on new Instagram, is, um, is like... You read. Yeah, it's like talking about the effects of that two weeks on what they can see on their children. So I'm just going to read some of it up. Uh, read all, that's all right. So the, a lot of people ask us about the girls every day, so I'm taking time tonight to write a few. Lou has been, has been able to breastfeed again. This is incredible. With almost no difficulty, she has adjusted to our daily routine and seems to lead a completely normal baby life. I wonder a lot, what trace will this separation have in her? Can I do things that would make her have no trace of it? Or will it be imprinted in her cells forever? Nausicaa is more complicated. After huge reactions of panic the first few days, I can see an evolution in his behaviour over the past week since he returned. Only many things remain. He cries as soon as you have to get in a car. It has been impossible to get her to sleep. There's some her and him, it's the translations. Right. It has been, become impossible to get her to sleep in her little bed that she loved so much before. She spends most of her day snoring. And whatever the text seems good to cry very hard and calling out what had happened. Sometimes when she owls for no apparent reasons. I explain to her that we are not living. That Raphael and I are here to protect her. And that now she's safe with us. That we protect her. So she calms down and even though I see she doesn't understand everything, I feel that she captures my intention through the tone of my voice. There will be a lot more to tell, but I will take the time little by little when, like tonight, I have minimal availability and most of all the energy to seriously settle down and take the time to write. My eyes well say that at the moment it is very rare. Kisses to all of you. What I want to focus in here, that's the part that Leon read, which one says, Now Zika is more complicated. Now Zika, it is the girl with three years old that has been two weeks apart from the parents. Three years old, away from two weeks. Now, Zika is more complicated. After huge reactions of panic, panic, the first few days, I can see an evolution in his behavior over the past week since the return. Only many things remain. Many things remain. She cries as soon as you have to get in the car. 
So they, these children have been taken in a car and that was definitely a moment that was very traumatic for this child. And like says in here, she would love to sleep on her own bed and now she does not want to sleep on her own bed. I'll just show it to you guys. That's the, that's the picture of the baby and that's the picture of the child. So you can see how small they are. That's the baby that fortunately is breastfeeding again and the other child is so tiny but it is imprinted. So it has been two weeks away and that's what the government, the French government, the social services they have done on this family. And only because the mother decided to have the baby at home. Now, this child with three years old has a huge trauma, does not want to sleep on the bed, does not want to get in the car, and most important, it does not really believe that the parents, they are in there to protect her. The mother has to keep saying that they are now in there to protect her. And when, when the mother and the father figure are being taken from their own children as the heroes and has the protectors, a lot has been taken from the family from the mother, from the father, and from the children. Because for Santiago, who would be the big hero? Who'd be Leonardo? He would be the big hero for Santiago. But Leonardo is not there. And Santiago doesn't have the big hero. Because supposedly the mother and the father, by the story that has been told to him, they didn't want him. He was abandoned. That is what every single child that has been adopted, child trafficked, that's the story that has been told. Now, past that, my father um, has spoke to me about um, a, a subject matter that I maybe should introduce and I think it's a good idea and that for that reason I'm bringing this to you guys. So. The idea of my father is that I should get a group together for meditation, energy, a good vibration. Focus. A kind of, yeah, some. Focus on sending love and good energy for Santiago. Um, so, for that reason, I am in here telling you that uh, this is something that is going to be implemented. I don't know when uh, or what date or what time, but that's something that I would like to invite you guys to let me know what you think about it and which day and how often do you think that this should get done. And if you guys, if you know what's the best way to do this, because I've never done this, uh, let me know like any kind of guidance that is very welcome. Yes, yeah, like a, a prayer group. It could be a prayer group. I mean, you called it meditation, a prayer group, a, a focus group, a, a, where you send out your thoughts to, to Santiago, your yeah. prayers. And I think the best probably is get done in live, either in live video on Facebook or on live on YouTube. At the moment, I cannot do live videos on YouTube because I don't have yet a thousand subscribers. I have around 700 subscribers. So... Please subscribe. Please subscribe to help out and we probably could do these videos on live and then we send all that love and the good energy to bring Santiago back home and uh, open up all the roads. The roads, the channels, the energy, whatever we, we call it. Santiago to come back. Yes. Right. As always, Santiago, we love you. And Santiago, the reason you. why we do these things is for you, my son. Today. So we have a... Today is the... It's the 10th of today, isn't it? Yeah, today is the 10th of July. And so because of that... The 11th of July. The 11th of July. So, today is the 11th of so July. 11th of July. And because of that, we are sharing with you guys that we have been... We've been together now nine years. Nine years. 
We have been together for nine years. Nine years, that's, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Next year is going to be <laughs> ten <laughs> years. So nine <laughs> years has been uh, hard. Yes, we've been, we've been through, you know, hell. hell and we have been we're still hell. together, we're still strong and we still have a positive mindset. We're still, yeah. we can smile and laugh still even though we have a lot of pain and trauma. Yeah. We can still be positive for you guys, for everyone, for Santiago, and to carry on, you know? So. Yeah, we are here for definitely for Santiago. And we want to inspire you guys to keep going. You know, they cannot destroy us as family, as individuals, as souls of love. They cannot destroy us. They can try as much as they want, but... They are not taking the best. Uh, they are destroying a lot, obviously. They are destroying a lot. I'm not giving my values to Santiago. Santiago is not getting our love every day. We are not seeing Santiago to grow up. But I want to believe and I want to create the reality that I'm bringing my son back to me. And when uh, he will come back, we still have a full life of joy to share. And I want to believe that the best is yet to come. So, nine years. Congratulations. Congratulations, give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> nine years. And uh, thank you so much for, I have shared these with you guys on Facebook and on Instagram. And thank you so much for all the love, for all the message that you guys send it to us saying lovely couple. So that was very good to read. Thank you so much for all of that. It, 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 the support that you guys gave it to us, on, especially on Facebook, is where we have a bigger community. is amazing. Thank you. Did you share the picture on your page? You haven't, have you? I'm sure. I don't think so. You have. You have to. You have to say to your followers that we have been nine years together. Yes, yeah, probably I'm on a Facebook ban or something. <laughs> oh yes, you are. You are. Yeah, he is banned at the moment. That's why I have 300,000 pages on Facebook, so they never know where I am. <laughs> I think they have given up on me, and hopefully I, I haven't been blocked for some time. Now, guys, that's it. So today, that it is this episode, it is about. Please leave your comment below. Uh, if there is anything that you'd like to ask us, if there is anything that you'd like us to know, uh, any story, anything that you would like us to have an opinion about it. Maybe talk or, about on video, yeah? Yeah. Anything that... Why even have a conversation with you? Like, probably, why not? Uh, Leon has the IT tech. Uh, um, the IT... Where are you going? Zoom you're talking about. Yeah, Zoom all those what? capacities that I don't have. So we can put all together and record this conversation and I'm sure that that will be good. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching Thanks our so Keeping for Up with Santiago's Mum and Dad episode 7. And now you already know, on next Monday at 7 p.m., we are here again. And yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, and comment underneath it as well. Yeah, and for the algorithm. Yeah, exactly. Like it, share it, do whatever you want, but just get more subscribers so we can do the live videos for. Sending lots of love to Santiago. Thank you guys and thank you. thank you for watching and see you on the next episode. Bye bye. Bye for now. Bye. That was good, yeah? <laughs> you just know how to stretch things. Don't you? No, 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 no,